All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are going to load up this uh, security container, which is probably nuclear waste or a nuclear bomb. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why they really store it inside concrete like that, because if it was a nuclear bomb, I don't think that would help. So anyways, uh, let's get it loaded up on the truck, because our job is not to ask questions, but to get uh, containers from point A to point B. Let's go ahead and activate the anchors. I guess we can start the tr uh, the truck up too. I'm surprised it let me do any of that without starting the truck. Let's see how heavy this is. Okay, not that heavy for being solid concrete. Surprisingly. Be gentle. Yep, I was about as gentle as I get. Uh, pack cargo, restore crane, and uh, let's get the, uh, let's get out of here. Oh look, another helicopter. Look at that, they made one ax, ax, asset, asset. They made one asset and then used it multiple times on the same map. That way, you know, it seems like it was worth the money to design it. Meanwhile, you probably didn't even need to have a helicopter in this thing, but you know what? They did it, so whatever. Uh, anyways. Uh, let's get all the way back. Oh, we gotta just go back to the trailer store. Wow, this is a, this is a heck of a hike. Alright, we'll follow this road out, and then cut back across this way, I guess? Kind of shocking we've never taken this road yet. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll do it today. Right. Apparently there's a road here, but um, we'll just make our own. Is it faster? I suppose you do pick up a little bit of speed. Not really a point to have our lights on. Can I see the road if I'm in first person? No. Not really. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, I guess I can. At this point, it's kind of a no, and I think we're just following trails. This is probably a deer trail. Oh, there's some tired marks. Uh, yep. Yeah. We're gonna go left. We'll just... I guess we'll just weave through this little valley here. My air freshener is going nuts. And, uh, look at that. There's our, uh, good old Caleb. Kulab. However you say it. Still don't... Still don't know how to say it. Uh, let's cross here because it looks safer. Problem is, is I probably have to cross back. <laughs> oh well. Not a bad little path to get through here. Um, that's solid. No, yeah, that's solid. Okay, we're up to a whopping... Ooh, we're, we're about 30 miles an hour right now. And yeah, I figured we were going to break through a little bit. Break through there too. There's a road somewhere through here and I have no clue where it is. Still haven't gotten to it yet. Close? I'm getting close. Will I know it when I'm on it? 
pass through here. Yeah, I guess this is it. But at the same time, we could just cut across here. Well, you know what? We're going to take the road. We have actually never taken this path before. I think we take the ice. I, I feel like the ice is the... Uh, better path to take. And then it goes off that way, but we are not going that way. I suppose we just go straight across the ice here. <clears throat> this couldn't be any more simpler. But I have to double check. There's too many times where I've just completely gone the wrong way and that just kind of uh, wastes time. That's for a little bit of excitement though, I guess. Alright, so we can just bounce through here. Slow down a little bit for these larger rocks. Oop, oop, uh, we'll go over it. Yeah, that's fine. That, that, that works. Alright. Now that we're back on roads. It's just nice and simple. Yeah, that was pretty straightforward. I missed a, a marker back there, but whatever. Fine. Do, 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 do. And we are literally almost there and I can't even can't even fathom what we're gonna do after this. I think are we done with tasks? I think there might be one more task. Which seems crazy because I felt like we had a million tasks in this uh, in this round. Boom! Yeah, like we are down to. Now there's a couple tasks. I think it's because we haven't found them yet. May not be a good thing. Oh good, they're, they're basically way back over here. Uh, we just gotta explore this area. I remember this area is completely insane. Um, I'm thinking... We grab the... Axion. And... I'm going to grab the action and we're going to try to return that one trailer that's been kind of sitting there bugging me. Go ahead and turn all wheel drive on. Does this, this thing can take them? I don't know if I can return that though. It's, it's one of those things. This may be completely all for naught. But it's worth a shot to try. Because it is a long ways back over here. Ugh. Bouncy? Try not to uh, bounce around too much. I don't remember if I have the uh, autonomous winch or not. Drive right across this. I don't even know what. Oh, oh, no. Okay, we do have the autonomous winch. I can get the back. Oh. 
Oh, man. I'm guessing I can't reach anything else. I have absolutely nothing here except for that one lousy tree. Come on, flip us over. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just recover it, because I screwed up. Alright. Let's head right over to the uh, other side of the map. I think this one we can go straight. I totally forgot which way you go. We can go up. Okay, straight up, basically. About a mile and a half away. And uh, yeah, I guess the nice thing is that we have a full tank of gas and a full tanker of gas, so gas will not be an issue. Nope, my driving will be. That that's definitely the uh, the main issue today. All right. And this thing is, is light and bouncy. And unfortunately fast. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to slow down a little bit more before uh, we get to things like that. Come on, get through the snow. This truck should have the easiest time in the snow. It really should. Alright, this is pretty much snow, so could be safe. We're going to slow down quite a bit through there. <laughs> We're going to pick up some speed here. Maybe. Pretty good, we can we can bounce through here, no problems. Get on the ice. As long as we're going in a straight line. Turn. Yep, that was not going to turn that quickly. No. <gasps> no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, I believe, yeah, the dairy's right there. The dairy to the rescue again. I almost thought we were going to roll back onto our wheels. Hi. Uh, where are we, by the way? I think we're... Okay, yeah, we gotta go around this. Around this little island here. Outcrop, whatever you want to call it. This really would be a interesting game if we could only use one truck. That would be a nightmare, though. 
You know what? I'm gonna do what my friend did, me, in high school, when he got my truck out of the, uh, the mud. He just hooked me up and took off. And it worked. <laughs> no, he dragged me a long ways. He thought it was funny and I was so mad. I baby that truck. It was my first truck, so of course I did. And, uh, yeah, he almost, he actually almost flipped it because it came unhooked and it was probably moving at like 30 miles an hour. Um, maybe that's exaggerated, maybe 15 to 20. And, uh, yeah, it came unhooked, turned and hit a pile of trees that was laying on the ground. And I just remember the back end shooting up into the air and then bouncing. Luckily, nothing was, nothing it was damaged, but I'm like, it so easily could have been a lot worse than what he did. Just to be funny. I'm like, yeah, needless to say, I hung out with him a little bit after that, but then the, uh, the friendship kind of dissolved away. And I could probably only tell you his first name, and that's it. <laughs> Amazing how, uh, things like that happen. Alright, so this is our... our maze that we have to do. Uh, let's zoom in on here, on the map. Clear those out. I guess let's go for this one. First. Uh, we can't really get back there that way, so let's go this way. They did set this up as a maze. But I think if we just... Like, I can't get through that way. I go, do I gotta go behind to get there? All right, let's go through this way. Uh, can we get through? I mean, it says you can get through that way. This is where I wish I had a really narrow vehicle. Maybe that little van thing. Yeah, I just, I don't see myself getting through there. Not without winch points. Ugh. And you can't turn. Nope. Oh, started to get grip. All right, all right. No, see, like, you can't. How can you possibly get through there? All right, well, let's try not to get stuck. Because we are. If there were winch points, it would be nice. I guess we'll just gun it. <laughs> okay, that works. Well, at least if we have to reset because we can't get out. I was actually doing a nice little wheelie there. All right. Can I get out? Get a line first. And then we will just, nope. We were aligned and then we apparently hit slush or something and threw us off track. Um, up and over. Good. No, I don't. Okay, good. We got up and over it. Fine. Okay. Uh, can we weasel our way through there? No. Let me. Let me guess. The boxes are going to be solid. Nope. Wait. They are in the way though. All right. Let's go around this way for fun. Hey, look. Wash base. I don't know if that's what they are, but that's what they look like. Okay. 
eventually will turn into it. There we go. And then the last zone. Probably could gun it over this, but I think we can just take it slow. Nope, we just become exactly high centered, didn't we? Oh, come on, that wheel's touching. <laughs> That's not cool. Should have brought a larger truck. No winch points, nothing. Nothing's going to save me. Um, I guess the dairy. Let's let's try the dairy and see. Couldn't take it that long to get over there. In fact, I probably can just point and shoot. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go. Yeah, just putting it in low. That worked. I guess I went around? I honestly don't remember which way I went. I got a feeling in this thing it's not going to matter. Maybe we'll get lucky and we can do the loading zone um, without needing this truck. Or at least uh, without having to get to the other truck I meant. It's, uh, it's past lunchtime and I haven't had lunch yet, so get kind of hungry. Uh, we gotta go to the right. Right through the ditch. Because that's what you do. Especially in trucks like this. Uh, let's go back to automatic. Or auto. Let's get the differential off. That's what I meant. And uh, what's the best way to get in there? I mean, I'm tempted to see if the dairy can take a, sh a lot of damage. Can the dairy climb that? I know, I know this seems kind of silly, but can it? No, maybe if it had chains, maybe. All right, well, let's, let's try to go this way and around. I think we ended up going this way. We snuck through here. Oh. The amount of damage I'm going to take. Seriously? Are you trying to say I'm hooked on something? Oh, there is a winch point? Alright, well that's, that's cool. Okay, I went through there, I came through here. Oh yes, this is going to be tough. No, this shouldn't be too bad, what am I saying? We're going to scratch the truck, but it's fine. Just squeeze right through there, and then we can just, uh... We can just ram this in the butt. And up and over it goes. <laughs> Hopefully that was smart. Uh, stop engines, change trucks. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Although... Um... 
How am I supposed to get there? Did I even go the right way? Okay, we're gonna put it in low and put the differential on. It make doing turns a little bit worse, but I think it will keep our speed up. Yeah, there we go. Then it gets all angry. Wait a minute. This is the way we came with the other truck. Oh, there we go. I totally missed it because these fences fall down. Ah, uh, they're tricky little punks. Tricky little developers, I guess would be the, the correct term. Um, we're, we're a little wide, but we're good. Yay! And it's done. Alright. These trucks I may just leave here for now. Um, that's all the tasks done. Now we gotta start doing we gotta start doing logging. Ugh. Alright. Uh what do we got here? Do we have any other tasks? So unlucky number we haven't gotten to yet. Whatever temporary measures is. That's strange. I haven't actually said anything for temporary measures. We've got abandoned convoy. We've got temporary measures. We've got overturned train. All oh, those ones are. There's a bridge here that we have to do. There's still quite a bit of stuff that we have to do. Um, do we have any vehicles near anything that we can do? The old crossing. Um, yeah, let's, let's go see, let's get in the dairy. Let's wind our way out of here. I suppose, I suppose I could have just went that way. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, seems kind of strange. We can squeeze through here. Perfect. We can ramp over this stuff. Apparently slowly. Alright, now where are we? We are heavily damaged in our suspension category, but that's fine. Okay, there it is. Show task accepts. There we go. Did it not? Start tracking. Metal beams, that's what we need. Okay, so what? where do we gotta go? We gotta go from the port, so... This will be a nice ice road tr truckers episode. You know what? We've got a half an hour. Let's, uh, let's recover. This truck is pretty well beat. Uh, customize. It's a low saddle, so we can get a different, or get a, get a trailer. Uh, do I want to go with... I'm going to keep these tires. Yeah, I'm going to keep this set up. I could throw on some snow tires or some uh, ice tires or some chain tires. That's the word I'm looking for. Really doing doing these uh, episodes hungry does not um, does not bode well. But we've got a half an hour. 
I have a half an hour until I can get food. Uh -huh. Hopefully I make it. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a trailer. We only need one metal beam so we can grab a small light trailer. Uh, and then we can pick up our metal beams from here as well and start on the mission. I think, yeah, that's, the trailer. of course, that's the trailer store. Oh, the Azov is also here. Oh, I could have just thrown it on the Azov. You know what? I think that's what we'll do. We'll just throw it on the back of the Azov. It should be fine. I totally forgot this truck was here. Oh, 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 yeah, I knew I was gonna hit something. Metal beams, there we go. Slightly cantilevered, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's all water, so that's all the water. Uh, fuel, fuel, yes, let's grab fuel. I almost missed fuel. That would have been bad. I feel like there's something important back there. It's one of those hidden little gems. Nope, nothing at all. Alright, and this, this track will probably take us to darkness. For sure. But yeah, let's uh let's just kinda sit back and relax and give my voice a rest. And we're just gonna drive. And I'll, I'll comment on something stupid that I do, because chances are I'm going to do something stupid.
All right, so we're about a quarter of a mile. Oh, that was a big chunk of ice uh, from our drop off point. I felt like I uh, didn't talk for about an hour. And I think it was only about three minutes. So. But anyways, um, we do have we do have to cross this very carefully. I think the center point is safe. This looks like it might crack, but we should have enough speed to get through. Or at least enough traction. Whew, that was close. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, up the hill and we're right where we need to drop off. So that actually wasn't too bad of a track. It looks, it actually, this is, I think this is the first map where it looks longer on the map than it actually is in the game. Let's just put it in low plus and climb up the hill. Perfect. And here's a drop off point. Boom. We now have a bridge. Whoa. Not too, not too shabby of a, a price tag either there. Um, so that doesn't really, <laughs> the bridge is pretty minor in this game. Um, but it will, uh, it will help us out because I'll, I, we're, we're basically on logging missions now. Um, so we have to, Ooh, I don't want to go there yet. All right, is there any other ones where I don't have to leave? Um, we can drop that off, pick it up here. Yep, pick it up there. Ooh, and we have the Action. Uh, let's go back to the Action and, and deal with that. Uh, I don't want to leave the map yet. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Um, Kind of shocking that we're already at that point. Can I just go up and over this way? Seems kind of dumb, but I feel like I can do it. Looks really steep too. Oh, it, I feel like I should be able to do this. Oh, why did that push me backwards? Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm horribly stuck. Yes! All I had to do was get around that, uh... Look at how deep this is. Wow. We just need a little bit of help. Nope. Pull me back. Thank you. There we go. Okay. We've got a lot of trees to try to... There we go. We're down to five gallons of fuel left. Good thing we've got uh, like 200 on our back. All right. Whew. Ooh. That was that was that was pretty good. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> All right, we're full up. We're good to go. Let's uh, go get this. No. What? It was not that one. It was the forgotten prototype. That's the one we want. Okay, so we've got to go. Yeah. We're going to go at night, just to make things interesting. Ooh. 
Do I do I want to go up and around or do I want to cut through? I want to go up and around. There. Let's go. Let's go check this out. I don't. I don't think this will be very hard for this truck to do. Especially considering we just saw it do what it did. I give it a little bit of gas if I bump up and over. A little bit more. Oh. There we go. Sometimes you just have to gun it. And take the little bit of damage that you get. Ooh, this is icy. Icy and slanted, so we are pretty much just drifting right now. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten off the accelerator. Downhill we go. Oh, we've got plenty of winch points. I like how this is the snow that I get fogged on. Fogged in. Fogged in? Yeah, this is what bogs me down. Uh, <laughs> we went through that other snow like it was nothing. Well, not like it was nothing, but it we went through it like it was pretty easy. And yeah, this is... Uh, Where do I go get in? I guess here. Yeah, this worked. My waypoint was a little off. I'm hoping... I'm gonna be really disappointed if I can't haul this. How do I get there? Um... Oh, I gotta go up and over and then haul that... What? That's pretty, that's pretty weak sauce there. Kind of ridiculous actually, if you ask me. We gotta drive over this, which is fine. We actually rolled over that one time here. I forgot what vehicle we were in. But then somehow... What? I must be able to break through this fence. Nope, that is concrete there. That's wood. There's got to be a section of that fence back there that's wood. Well, let's not go that way. Yeah, it's not going to let me get to there. Come on. We got to use our little dinky horn. Do I have to, like, jump it? Because how am I supposed to get the trailer out of there? Like, all of that is... is... solid concrete. Okay, hold on one second. Let's go to day, because... Yeah, that's all solid concrete. Do I have to follow the railroad tracks in? Is that what it is? I bet you that's what it is. Ah, uh, well, you know, uh, sooner or later you'll figure out how to do it. If we ever get there. Well, that didn't really speed us up at all.
do 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 do. Uh, these are the fun times. I go low gear. Is it faster? It might be faster. Yeah, I think it was faster. All right, there we go. That's how we have. To no, wait. Oi. Do they expect us to squeeze between the buildings? What? All right, well, let's... I don't know if this truck will fit through there. We can try it. Yeah, that is not fitting. There's no way that's fitting. I can't even get over the actual railroad. Yeah, no, my tires are way too wide to fit through there. That isn't going to work. I'm zooming in all the way. I have to get... Okay, I must have to drive over this thing here. Okay, well let's let's try that. Wow. Let's just destroy the truck before we even attempt to uh get over there. Okay. Try this again. We definitely can't get through there. It's gotta be right here. Except there's there's the ramp there. Uh, maybe I go up. Between the, uh, the train. Ooh, maybe. Now I'm starting to think. But then they went and put this stuff in the way. Short wheelbase, please, uh, please work for me. Okay, I can winch this. Good. What? The heck was that? I don't understand how I'm supposed to get this out. <laughs> Like, there's that path that way that goes under there. Oh, is the path that way? I like kind of don't have any traction right now. Um, I think I screwed up. I think I was supposed to go around that red thing and go around and up and over. Ah, uh, I feel stupid. Do we have, we don't have another truck to try that. How long did it take us to get here? That uh, wasn't too far. All right, you know what? Let's, let's recover. That's, that's, that's quite a shame. 
None of these trucks are going to be skinny enough, are they? Um, garage. That one's pretty skinny. You know what, which one would be skinny? I mean, is the Hummer skinnier? Can the Hummer get through half this stuff? The other one I was thinking... And this is technically a scout vehicle. I haven't even... haven't even tried that one. Was this one. This little tiny thing. Like, look at that compared to the Ford. But can it do it? Let's, let's actually, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, let's recover. Let's customize this thing out. I guess, I guess we're going to have to do this one. Gearbox, no runner. Suspension, raise, tires. I guess I'm going to go straight up mud tires. What do we got? I don't really use these ones too often, so let's go with those. Spear wheel, sure, we'll throw the spare wheel on. Unless it tells me that I can't. Pull a trailer. Could you imagine? Frame add-on. Yeah, we want extra goodies. Um. Wait, what did I say? Eh. Kind of like that one. Let's go with that one because it adds more. Roll cage, nice. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Rims, I don't care. Color. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the color. This thing looks ridiculous. And it's ridiculous and skinny. I want to verify that I can put trailers on that. You know what? I'm going to crash. Uh, I, I don't know why. Oh yeah, winch. Um, anonymous, I guess. Autonomous. I'm going to not put the spare wheel on. I don't know. Something just tells me that... If I have the spare wheel on, it will not let me pull the a trailer. And yeah, that would drive me absolutely mad. Alright, so let's go this way towards the snow. Um, snow is gonna be its Achilles heel. But we can do it. I figured it's a it's a pretty small vehicle. But that's kind of what I like about it. It's small and tiny. And very, very skinny. And hopefully you can put a trailer on it. I hope it has the power to pull that trailer. I may just be doing something absolutely stupid. Okay, we're gonna avoid large rocks like that. Or try to. And then I 
smack into the only one here. Ah, ridiculous. All right. This we're gonna have to be very careful of because we're already sliding. get an idea. We're going to use the forward, the pole, the, I think it's the con. I don't even know what the name of that vehicle was. Oh, no, definitely not. The Ford does not like hike here at all. I think this will be a faster on the ice and it will be uh, kind of like a little rescue vehicle too. And it has chains and for some reason it was trying to get stuck. <laughs> uh, I think the chains will help on the ice. And like I said, it's probably smart to have the extra vehicle. Yeah, the Ford is just a little bit bigger. What? Why is it? Let's go. Let's go. We should be able to do this faster now, too. This board is freaking long. I, I, I miss trucks that were full cab, eight foot beds. I mean, this looks like an eight foot bed plus the uh, two spare tires and all the other extra stuff. Maybe that's a bigger fuel tank? Is that what that is? No? I don't know what that is. 37 gallon fuel tank so it seems pretty standard. Actually it seems kind of small for this board. Anyways. remember which way we go. Uh, we gotta go more this way. Yeah, we'll go straight and then left. We're basically going straight around that outcrop. some reason this thing can't get into sixth gear which is kind of sad because it's pulling big truck that's what it's meant to do I don't know why we just slowed down like crazy there um okay so there should be a road maybe we just keep going straight for a while I think we're going the back way. Ooh, and we are right at our hour mark. Hey, you know what? Let's keep going.
want to go up there? No, not really. I think I'm going to go all the way around to the road. And of course, of course the episode where I decided not to eat lunch first, I'm going over <laughs> on purpose. Oh, my stomach. If you guys hear my stomach, let me know. Um, I should be... I think I have the filters hooked up, but it is grumbling, so... Let's, uh, let's head up the trail here. Do you think somebody would come through here with a plow and get rid of most of these rocks? Especially at the foot of a... of a road or a trail. Well, I guess they gotta make it a little bit more difficult than normal. this off. Ah, it's a pond. That's what it is. I couldn't remember what it was. I hope, I hope this is, uh, this is going to fit and be powerful enough to get that stupid trailer out of there. It's uh, kind of nice though that things just aren't, you know, simply drive to it and pick it up. You have to, you have to think about things now. They're making it a challenge. So far so good. As long as I can get up that. We might have to head up that ramp. Oh. Come on. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Alright, let's try this one over here. Squeeze through there. And go up there. And go up this. Oh. Crap. Um. Can I? No, that's going to wedge me in. There we go. Okay, now this thing is here. You know what? I think I can go... I think I can just go straight through here. And between having the Ford here, I wish I had a bigger truck. But I think. Yeah, we can just go up and over that. I mean, in reality, we would be snagged so hard on that. It would be a nightmare. <laughs> and I don't know which one's bigger, the uh, trailer or the vehicle I'm pulling it with. Um, so where does this have to go now? Back to the garage? Alright, now uh, it goes over by the village. Okay, so it's got to go over there. We are... 
Very, very far away. Almost a full mile. Uh, so we will do that in the next episode. We will probably take the Ford and uh, continue pulling this setup with the Ford. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys liked this episode. It was a little bit of a mystery, a puzzle, if you will. But uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.